All right, welcome back to our studio kitchen. It is Food City Friday and registered dietitian Kirby Moyer joining us. And I feel like we've been saying beef, it's what's for dinner, <laughs> right? I mean, yes. we're, we're celebrating beef, which for you is a big step. Yeah, it is. I think uh, dietitians, we really practice what we preach. Mm -hmm. I eat everything, all foods can fit. We talk a lot about what we know people are not getting enough of. Right. And most Americans, we probably are maybe getting enough beef on our plate, but hopefully we're focusing on the balancing act today of that. Okay, so you've got some other options, which I love when you can do one meat and then use it a couple different ways. Yes, and if you wanted to do the stew that I just showed, um, I did like a lean beef stew with that. You could also actually do that with like a uh, chopped or uh, uh, flank steak, okay. the little strips, and if you were going to prepare that on a Monday night and you're already going to cook all of that to go back into the pot, save a little. Maybe you buy two pounds, you go ahead and sear and saute, so the night two, you're doing a no-cook meal. Love that. Yes. Thank you. Exactly, and we want something assembly line that's kind of simple, so I paired up a canned corn, um, which is some matchstick carrots, actually, and then a quick coleslaw mix. Oh, nice. Um, added a little bit of lemon juice, a tablespoon of Greek yogurt, or you could do some sour cream, and then we did just a nice little um, traditional taco seasoning blend. Oh, wonderful. Super nice, but we're, we're sneaking in again, more fiber and more vegetable. You could absolutely do a little bit of cheese. I actually did some sliced avocado in there. That. that looks so good. For healthy fat. Yeah, and again, I'm thinking ahead on Monday. If I'm already going to be at the stovetop, let me go ahead and get that beef, that protein ready for the next night. And then we're still doing that balancing here with those vegetables. Because that's what takes your time. It the is. The meat always takes a little bit longer to yep. get that ready. And if you're using that canned corn, you've got the nutrition, but it's ready to go. Absolutely. And the nice thing, too, with beef, it does cook pretty quickly on the stovetop, which is always nice. So this would take about seven minutes just to brown that and get that up to temperature, which is great. Perfect. Um, now, this one is a little different. And when we talk about, you know, what do dietitians eat, in the summertime, I'm a burger purist, all right? You're okay. going to see me all summer long out grilling, but when it gets a little colder, I still like a burger at home every now and then. This is actually a black bean and beef burger. Oh. So we're not omitting the beef. We're just adding in black bean. We also use canned corn in this. And um, instead of breadcrumbs, I actually like to use oatmeal. Oatmeal. Um, the thing that I find is oatmeal actually absorbs the flavor a little bit more. Okay. So you want to season really, really well when you're making the mix. You just form your patties and put them on a lined baking sheet and they can actually go in the oven. Oh, I like that. They will not smoke up your house. They're not gonna have all of, um, really the fat doesn't even leach out or you don't have really any mess because the oatmeal actually helps absorb that. So you get a really juicy, crispy texture. Um, a lot of people, if I said, oh, have a black bean burger, they're like, yeah. I want a beef burger. <laughs> this is the but, way to marry that. Yes, exactly. And I love that the oatmeal makes me think more like a meatloaf. So you've got that texture. Yes. And if you're thinking, hey, I'm going to make these for my family tonight, and then maybe um, it's a Friday night, you're like, for lunch the next day, these work really, really well even to eat them on their own. They don't have to be on a bun. They're great on a salad. Yeah. Um, endless possibilities. I think it's intimidating when we say what it is, uh -huh. but if we did a taste test, delicious. And with kids, um, we do want to try to get, we keep talking about fiber, mm -hmm. more fiber and nutrients in. So this is a great way to sneak in those beans. They need to be getting about a cup per week. So you're sneaking that into that, that family meal. Get in. They'll never know. Yes. And it tastes great. All right, Kirby, great tips. Thank you. Always good to have you on the show. Foodcity.com for more information and recipes.